this is going to be the fourth session on power series uh, you may remember in the first session we defined what is meant by radius of convergence it is uh, an extended real number r which may lie between 0 and infinity both included so that whenever mod z minus a is greater than r the power series converges and when mod z minus a is greater than r the power series diverges and it's unique right and in all for all practical purpose uh, we don't need anything other than this okay but uh, unfortunately or fortunately okay all books derive the so called uh, formula for radius of convergence which is due to Hadamard which uses uh, limb soup concept okay one can also do it using limb in but usually limb soup is most popular one and uh, in invariably in any compass analysis thing exams tests etc there will always be a power series where some coefficients will be missing and you are supposed to find the radius of convergence then you may have to use a Hadamard formula but for my experience I know the students <laughs> have a lot of trouble with uh, limb soup limb inf, right so if you are one of them I my request will be to go to my two I think two videos or three videos are limb soup limb in and you go through them you will love them you will find it so easy okay and you will never have any fear about that okay please go through that okay so we are going to derive the formula today so let us recall let me see whether I have done the, the screen share yes so let us recall something about limb soup limb in suppose a n is a bounded sequence of real numbers right then let alpha be the limb soup of a n okay then I do not get to the definition but if you want I can define it you let a n equal to a k where k is greater than equal to n that is collect all the terms this is a set whereas sequence a n is different this is a set it's not the tail end of a sequence please remember it's not a sequence okay it's a the image of the tail end tail okay after setting right greater than equal to n right okay then you, what you do is you look at uh, tn to be the lub or supremum of this set a n this is bounded let us say it's bounded by minus m plus m okay so this will be the than equal to n right now you can see tn is decreasing therefore okay and it's bounded below by minus m therefore infimum of of tn that will be the limit of the sequence tn okay this is what is called alpha i am just quickly recalling and if you are not seeing any of these things it will may not even make sense okay i am aware of that okay right so but it is just to build the thing and the alpha has two important properties that is if beta is greater than alpha then you want to say okay there exists an n so that for all n greater than or equal to n you are a n's or less than or equal to beta and if my gamma is less than alpha then there exists infinitely many n in n so that okay a n is greater than gamma these are the two properties okay but in fact uh, with this definition and if you are very confident about the LBGLB okay it's very easy to derive one and two that's what I have done in my videos please please visit that if you have not learned it this, take it as a good opportunity to learn okay these are the only two facts I will need okay 
So again, keep the picture in mind so that I will, it will always be good. If alpha is the yeah, thing and if beta is greater than that, then what I want to say is after certain stage, all my ans okay, will be less than beta. n greater than equal to capital N. And if gamma is less than alpha, okay, then infinitely many a n will be greater than a a n's. Okay, infinitely many it will be greater than gamma. Keep this picture in mind. Okay, please pause, review, just spend some time. Even if you have not learned the elim uh, supplement, just remember this is the most important property. In fact, characterizing property of limb supplement. Okay, now we are ready. So, Hadamard's formula. Formula. Suppose I have a sequence Cm z minus a to the power n greater than infinity. My Cns may be in C, and let okay, let R be such that one by R equal to limb sup of mod Cn to the power one by n. And again, let me go back. If you had followed my infinite series lectures then I would told an extension of the standard root test and ratio test which uses the concept of limb soup limb okay if you learn the thing again you will see all these things are very easy unfortunately these things are not taught well so students suffer from them okay please go through it you want to be a master you want to show that you are better than others do it Okay. Okay. Then. Okay. Now let us understand. Suppose limb soup is zero. Then what does it mean? We say R is infinity. If limb soup is remember, if it's not zero, it has to be a positive number. If it is positive, R is also positive number. Do you understand this? R is finite positive number. Okay. Keep that in mind. Okay. Then what we want to say is, R is the. R is said that. 1 sorry 1 if mod z minus a is less than r then the series cn z minus a to the power n is conversion and 2 if it is greater than r this is not this remember when i say it's divergent it simply means not conversion okay if you have learned lot of other things please forget them divergent in modern mathematics modern analysis simply means is not conversion if you say a series is divergent, it simply means it is not convergent. Nothing to do with infinity, nothing to do with oscillation, nothing. Okay, right. Is that clear? So, these are definition of our radius of convergence from lecture 1, session 1. Yeah? Okay. So, let us do that. Okay, proof. Let z belong to BAR. Right? Therefore, mod z minus a is less than r. Therefore, choose r. So that it is less than capital R. Therefore, mod z minus a is less than R, which is less than capital R. Right? Now, what do I know about 1 by R and 1 by capital R? Okay, since R is also positive, okay, I can take reciprocal 1 by R is greater than 1 by R. Alright? Now, go back to condition 1. If beta is greater than alpha, where alpha is the limb so, okay, then after certain n, all my a n's are less than equal to beta right so okay therefore by 1 okay what is a 1 by r 1 by r is the limb so and i have got an 1 by 1 by little r which is greater than the limb so therefore what does it mean that means by 1 there exists capital n that for all n greater than equal to capital n what do i know my a n's are less than beta right here what are my a n's they are mod c n to the power 1 by n 
okay this is less than beta which is ruled by r okay make sure you understand if you want go back and try to see that okay this is true only for certain n that means what happens for all n greater than or equal to capital m mod c n to and and r to the power n <coughs> yeah bring r here raise it over to the n that's less than 1 yeah right therefore what can i say about the sequence mod c n r power n okay after capital n all the terms are less than 1 therefore this is bounded okay therefore there exists m so that mod c m r to the power n is less than or equal to m for all n what does that mean that means mod c m is less than or equal to m into r to the power minus n for all n you understood that yeah pause and we will proceed now the proof is over at least the first part so let us look at the sequence the mod c n z minus e to the power n okay modulus okay therefore this is equal to mod c n and mod z minus e to the power n but but mod c n is less than equal to m r to the power minus n therefore this is less than equal to m into mod z minus e by r or to the power n do you agree with that r to the power minus n multiply i am writing this but what do i know about mod z minus e go back my z minus e mod z minus e is less than r right therefore mod z minus e r is less than 1 right therefore if you call this as a row okay this row is less than 1 therefore this is convergent this is a convergent geometric series right therefore it shows this uh, this series cm z minus e to the power n is absolutely convergent okay not only that again by the proof we had also shown immaterial of which z i chose in b a r this series is dominated by this geometric series okay therefore this is actually uniformly convergent in b a r but that's not important we know it's convergent okay if mod z minus a is less than capital r it must be convergent so we have proved this So with this part is proved. Yeah. Now we have to prove the second part. Okay. For second part, so so what do you know? I want to say mod z minus is greater than r. So what does it mean? Take reciprocal. That means mod z minus a is less than r. Right. Now go back. What did we see? we saw that if gamma is less than alpha for infinitely many n an must be greater than gamma what are my ans here okay therefore by 2 of lim so proper to 2 of lim so of an we have there exists infinitely many n many n in n so that what do i know 1 by mod z minus a is less than mod c n to the power 1 by n yeah that means for infinitely many n for infinitely Many n mod c n to the power one by n in mod z minus a is greater than one. Therefore, raise to the power n. Then mod c n into mod z minus a 
to the power m is greater than 1. Yeah. So, so what does it mean? Now I have c zero is c n z minus a to the power n. If this is convergent, I know limit of c n z minus a to the power n must be zero. But a sequence converges to zero if only its absolute value converges to zero. That is mod z minus a to the power n must be zero. But then we are saying for infinitely many n the nth term is strictly greater than 1. That's a contradiction. Therefore, the series cannot be convergent. Therefore, the series Cm z minus a to the power n is not convergent if mod z minus a is greater than 1. So, we have proved it. So that's it. I hope you follow the proof. Is it interesting? What are the, if at all there is a difficulty, where is the difficulty? It is understanding limb soup limit. And that also many times students have problem because they have not understood the supremum that is LUB and infimum which is GLB of a subset of real numbers. Yeah. Because in modern analysis, these things are not given a lot of emphasis. Okay, the system is short part, not you. So you go back and learn my videos from about LUB, GLB, and Limso, Limin, and Infinite Series. If you learn these things, you will find it easy. And if you just want to learn complex analysis or something about power series, you jump into this. It will be difficult for you. Yeah. It always is good to learn from the basics thorough. You don't have to remember. Please, that's one thing. When is okay, don't remember. Just learn thoroughly. If you forget it's okay. But you'll find it, you enjoy mathematics. Okay? We'll meet again.